In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Lord, send forth your Spirit, and you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who instructs the hearts of your faithful, with the light of your Holy Spirit, make us responsive to his inspirations, so that we may be truly wise and even rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Day 1 The Passionate Saint of Brittany Take a look at a map of France. Now notice something about its shape. See how one part sticks out way almost as if it were running away from the rest of the landmass ready to dive off into the Celtic Sea? That jutting arm in the northwest of the country is called Brittany, and that's where St. Louis de Montfort grew up. There's something special about Brittany that seems to have had an influence on St. Louis, its Celtic roots. Brittany is considered one of the six Celtic nations, meaning that the Celtic language and culture still survive. And one part of Celtic culture seems to have seeped deeply into the heart of St. Louis, the high-spiritedness of its warriors. From ancient times, Celtic warriors have struck terror in the hearts of their enemies. Often wearing nothing but blue battle paint, real Celtic warriors would work themselves into a bloodthirsty frenzy, rush into combat, screaming their heads off, and wildly slash, bash, and slice away at their enemies with huge two-handed swords. These fierce fighting men, despite their lack of discipline, armor, and order, were extremely effective in battle because of their unmatched passion and ferocity. Throughout history, Nobody has wanted to mess with the crazy Celtic warriors. St. Louis's dad, Jean Grignan, must have been descended from these wild man warriors, for nobody wanted to mess with him either. In fact, he was known for having the most fiery temper in all of Brittany. As one author puts it, he was a volcano frequently erupting. St. Louis, on the other hand, was as gentle as a lamb, right? Wrong. He confessed that his temper was just as bad as his father's. But Louis channeled his fiery passion, not to threats and violence, but to laboring for the greater glory of God. Well, except for the time he knocked out a couple of drunks who wouldn't stop heckling him while he preached. We can't get a better sense of Louis' remarkable zeal if we reflect on his short but incredibly productive priestly life. When he died in 1716, St. Louis was just 43 years old, having been a priest for only 16 years. Tireless labors to bring souls to Jesus through Mary 
especially by his preaching and endless succession of parish missions brought about his early death. As if these life-sapping labors weren't suffering enough, Louis had to bear vicious persecution from the clergy and Jansenist heretics, even to the point of being physically attacked and poisoned by them. Despite all of this, our indomitable warrior kept advancing on the battlefield, continuously preaching his trademark path to Jesus through Mary. In fact, when leaders in the church in France thought they had put an end to his work, Louis walked the thousand-mile journey to Rome and asked the Pope for his wisdom and counsel. The Pope not only told him to go back to France and continue preaching, but awarded him the title Apostolic Missionary. Obediently and joyfully, our saint returned to France where he continued to preach, write and patiently bear his many sufferings out of love for Jesus, Mary and souls. Saint Louis's passion and zeal lit a fire in a young Karl Wheatler, the future Pope John Paul II. A few years before his death, the Pope was able to realize a lifelong dream and visit de Montfort's tomb. He said on that occasion, I am happy to begin my pilgrimage in France under the sign of this great figure. You know that I owe much to the saint and to his true devotion to the Blessed Virgin. Now, what about us? Do we have a fire in our hearts as we begin this retreat? We should, or at least we should strive for it. Desire and generosity are key ingredients to making a successful retreat. May Mary intercede for us and may the Holy Spirit fill us with a passion to conscientiously make these days of retreat despite any fatigue, distractions or obstacles. And let's remember that what we may have to endure in terms of the discipline of prayer is nothing compared to what Saint Louis went through and he will be interceding for us. Relying on his intercession and that of the Mother of God, let's resolve right now to dedicate ourselves to this retreat with the intensity and zeal of a Celtic warrior, though without all the face paint and screaming. Today's prayer. Come Holy Spirit, living in Mary, help me to make this retreat with generosity and zeal. Let us now pray the litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, 
pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Redeemer, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of the Family, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen.